Hello, this is Chaos Blue, and I remember to turn down my headphones before I started recording this time! Yay! Also, Final Fantasy 2. <laughs> so, we left off last time in Mystia. We need to go, um... To the Tower of Mystia, which... I can't point to because I haven't been there, but it is the how it is the uh, place that is on the Crescent-ish island thing immediately above here. Like a uh, you you know you'll 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 see when we get there. Oh hey, before I forget. I did a little bit of grinding in between this episode and last episode. My HP is higher, but mostly I was going for MP and grinding up spell levels. Uh, on Mario and Guy, really. I think I did a little bit on Furion, but mostly on him, I'm concerned with having a high physical stats, because that's sort of the role he's fallen into. There is, however, one very useful grinding trick now that we have Osmos. In any decently long battle, you can use Osmos on anyone else. And you are and if you do, you are almost guaranteed to increase their MP. Because the way the HP and MP increases work is it's well all the way all the increases work is you're more likely to get it if the battle is longer but the way the hp and mp specifically work is that the larger the drop is from let's say starting hp to finishing the battle hp then the longer that drop the longer the larger that drop the more likely it is to get it that to get that increase. So, which means, using Osmos, it's pretty easy to go from full to zero in one battle. It's sort of the same trick as with Swap, really. So it's the sort of thing I'm not going to be abusing too much. But it's definitely something to keep in mind. If you really need to increase your MP quickly, Osmos. Of course, it doesn't work on the person with Osmos, but not ever, can't have everything. Now that I'm at the ship, there's one thing I want to remind you of from last time that is extremely important. Take all of her shit, because we are about to lose her. <clears throat> so I'm just going to do this now. Which, I actually deliberately waited on this so that I would remember to remind you. Because, right, we're just going to be fighting shitty water monsters anyway. Like these. Which, other than this one battle, I'm going to cut them all out. So, it's not like she really needs the equipment. anyway to keep herself safe. I mean honestly her evasion is so high that even with all of her stuff off she should still probably have like a I want to say 60% evasion. Oh okay. I maybe I over I underestimated how much the equipment was doing for her. Still though water monsters they they don't have shit on us at this point. So, oops. Killer Mantis. Haven't seen those in a while. Hell, for that matter, actually. Layla can also just use Thunder. Which is what I'm probably going to do to do all the battles, water battles more quickly now that I've thought of it. When was the last time I saw these? I want to say it was by the Coliseum. Certainly not recently.
Oh hey, you're unarmed priest. Derp. Anyway. Okay, man, this island is so- well, I say island. Continent, really. It's just so big and bulbous and kind of in the way. Uh, man, so far to go. This inland sea. Well, I say inland sea. I don't know. But, well, honestly, the continental structure of this world is just really weird. There's three main continents, maybe four, depending on how you count it. Um, but there's, but there, there's this whole huge inland. Well, it's basically an inland ocean, really. Is a more accurate term. Uh, what was I saying? Inland ocean. Right, sort of like the Mediterran Mediterranean, except larger and surrounded by all of the continents. Every single one. I mean, seriously. Just look at it. This is the entire world. That is just weird. I guess, though, that's what happens when your world is a palindrome. Or wait, no. Is palindrome the proper term? I don't think it is. There's a certain word for something that is a s that is this shape, where it's sort of like a s it sort of connects like a sphere, except that it doesn't the dimensions are wrong. I'm doing a bad job of explaining it. Pretty much all the maps in Final Fantasy at forever have been them though, and like just. Trust me when I say it doesn't map very well. That cannot be good. Ooh. C CGI? Cinema? Um, cutscene. That's the one. Where are we? Layla! Layla's missing! And she was never heard from again. As far as I know. <clears throat> Admittedly, it's possible that she does come back later on. I honestly don't know. But I do know that, this, that she is gone from your party forever for reals. Anyway, welcome to Leviathan! Which I'm a little disappointed we didn't get to see eat us. Because, come on, Leviathan. But, I'm pr anyway, I'm pretty sure this is the first instance of him in Final Fantasy. Also, this hurts you. One HP per step, I'm pretty sure. Bolt fish? I wonder if those are weak against electricity or they absorb it. Could go either way. You know, let's find out, actually. I have infinite MP on Maria. I can afford to do it. And then that happens. <laughs> okay. Something to mention about Leviathan. Sure, I can say this while I'm fighting. Something to mention about Leviathan. Other than it being just a neat little dungeon. It's not really a very long one either, so that's nice. It is a one-time only dungeon. Yeah, it does absorb lightning. Good to know! Uh, what that means is that, durr, you can't come back here once you're out. Which in turn means we want to make really certain careful that we get all of the items in this dungeon. And... I t took the effort to actually get properly organized for a change beforehand, something I hope to do more frequently in my LPs in general. So I know what all the items are and what floor they're on, although I still need to find them on each floor. <laughs> Twisted Headband. Did I already have one of those? Mm, no. Focuses the mind. 
let's see, 20, 41, 26, 12. Too far out. Forty one it didn't increase it did not increase any of them. That's bullshit. I think it'll keep lightning resistance on Mario. Oh wow, you know, I sort of feel like he Firon should have a gold hairpin. Then he's just immune to everything. You know what? You know what? Let's do it. Well, no, on second thought, let's not. The reason he had the ribbon is because it makes him just... Uh, oh, that increases his attack power? Well, that's a, another matter entirely. You have Asuna, so I'll give you the ribbon. Unless this is... Well, one defense, that's no big deal. Okay. Oh, yeah. There isn't too much, uh, there aren't too many items in here, but all of them are worthwhile to get, so make sure you don't miss any. Power Vest, which I think is light, and almost certainly freezes my attack power. Yep. Uh, I don't want to put that on Furion, though. Let's just check this. 99. Okay, well, if it dropped my evasion, it didn't drop it enough for me to cast. Good. Uh, oh, right, I forgot to mention this earlier. I also cleaned up my spells a little bit. I basically just got rid of redundant stuff on people that aren't going to use them. Mostly white magic on Maria and black magic on Guy. Although I also took fully off of Furion, I believe. Because... Based on the logic that, well, he's not going to use it. Oh hey, that's a new ice animation. Awesome. I don't think they're weak against ice, though. I hope, sort of hope not fire. Well, I guess it, it doesn't really matter if it's fire. I mean, I, it's not like I need to use magic against them. Okay, they're not weak against fire. Ice was the most effective, I think. Oh yeah, those are the only items on this floor, by the way. Oh, okay. That that was a weird door. Well, there's people in here. That's interesting. I like how they flash when I take damage. We're inside Leviathan's stomach. No kidding! Hey, it's a box! Leviathan swallowed us all! Power armlet. This, I'm pretty sure, is yet another power increasing... Yeah. This, this will actually lower his evasion, though. Probably. Because I know that Thieves Glove increase it. Or your agility, and therefore evasion. So, I want to see how much this drops. Eugh. I'm not sure if I like that. I mean, it's still pretty high. I don't know. It's just because he's wearing the armor, right? Hmm. Maybe I'll put the power vest on Furion. Ah, uh, you know, just go for the full out. It lowers his defense, but it gives him more evasion. Hmm, this is a tough choice. It's sort of a shame to not use my flame armor, though. I don't know. Give me a sec to think about this. Right, I thought about it, and I'm going to stick with the flame armor on Furion for now. Leviathan swallowed us all. New Ralza, who are you?
As a matter of fact, I am a Dragoon! What? The Dragoons and the Wirens have all been destroyed? That's absurd! Yeah, I didn't think so. Right, well, the thing you need to do with this guy... ...is... ...show him your magic rod. <laughs> By which I mean... I just... Where the hell is it? Okay, what? Oh, it was way at the top for some reason. Let's try that again. As I said, you need to show him your magic rod. So you guys were after the Ultimatome too. When you got swallowed up. Well... Since we're looking for the same thing, we may as well team up. There's a boat ahead, but there's also one tough monster standing in our way. Who knows? Together, we might be able to take it down. If by together you mean I'm going to do all the work, then you're right. And by the way, the power armlet was the only item on this floor. And hey, he's a dragoon! Ooh. I bet he's absolute shit evasion. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see what we can do about that. Let's see, he's good against that, so Ice Shield, and Flame Lance is probably fine. At least I don't think I have a better Lance. Now, I'm not, I don't, haven't actually checked when he bails on us, but I do know he's around at least until the end of this dungeon, so it's safe to put your shit on him. And 87 evasion. That's more like it. Ah, uh, wow. He is a piece of work. There's an inn in here? Really? We were swallowed whole! Um, right when Leviathan opens his mouth, there is a second where we could escape, but there's just too many monsters. Well, this is just great, isn't it? Are we supposed to live out the rest of our lives in here? Yes. Yes, we are. Okay, that probably goes to the next floor. So, anyone down here? By the acid pool? Leviathan is the beast that protects the seal of the tower. It looks it, like it swallows up anyone who has a crystal... There's more than one crystal rod? See, I've got a crystal rod right here. He just showed me his crystal rod. I don't know what to say about that. Ten years I've been living here. There's no way out! I'm sure of it! The sooner you give up and accept it, the easier it'll be for you. None of this would ever have happened to us if it weren't for that old man and his stupid crystal rod! <laughs> right, to onward to floor three. This acid is a different color. And more fish. Well, he's definitely a dragoon by the looks of it. Eh, he at least he hits fairly hard. Even if he is a total weak sauce sitting duck gonna get himself killed guy. Well, I fix up his evasion at least. So that's something. Uh hey. Diamond shield. Okay. I'll be honest, you probably don't need the diamond shield. What? Monster? Really? I didn't know there was a monster here. Oh, it's just red souls. These are like, just, I don't even care. They're so weak. That's how much I care, that I'm going to use Toad on them. With virtually no chance of success. As I said, virtually... What? How the hell did Toad heal it? To 
Toad doesn't work that way! <laughs> Oh well. It's no big deal. Uh, am I in this mouth? These look like teeth. That was underwhelming. Uh, these are weak against thunder, right? I'm pretty sure. By the way, if you hear something in the background, and I don't think you will, my microphone is usually pretty good about this, but if you do, then that's because I'm making bread. And my bread maker is a little bit loud sometimes. So, sorry about that. It happens. Um, wait, how much damage does Thunder do? I totally was not paying attention. Okay, just, it, they're weak against it, just not enough. Betrayal Fang! Okay, I'm guessing Berserk on the Fang. I'm not sure about the Shell. Uh, Confuse. And Shell. Go figure. Okay, that is our way out of it here. Uh, again, it's a short dungeon. But we just need to get this last box first. This is pro- This it well, I was gonna say this is probably the most worthwhile thing in here, but to be honest, the full set of power gear is pretty useful. Anyway, the Gaia Blade! Our next sword for Therion. At a whopping uh ten the blade with the power to make the very earth tremble. I wonder if I can cast stuff with it. Hmm, maybe. A whopping ten difference in power. More than it sounds. Okay, so one thing to worry about this thing, although with my setup I'm pretty overpowered so I should be fine, but this thing hits like a tank. Here it is, the round worm! It's a parasite. Make it past this thing and we can get the hell out of here on that boat. Yeah. So I'm just gonna berserk fear. You know, let's throw a berserk on this guy too. I wanna see what he can do. But I pretty much expect to kill the roundworm in three turns, including the first. Because, you know, have to buff. I mean, admittedly I might be overestimating my Furion's power. Yeah, you see, like, that is not a small amount of damage. Um, it's not weak against anything. I don't think it absorbs anything either, though. So, what's my highest level spell? Actually, let's put Berserk on him. Uh, let's use Fire. And you keep using Blink. Just in case. 400, that's respectable. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nearly t Actually, that was a critical, though. <coughs> uh, this is gonna kill it. Actually. Yeah, so, just like everything else, it's a pushover when you grind up the right spells. Just this game. I'm still not sorry about it, because it is really just the ultimate in, if I'm not doing well, I'm hating it type games. And of course you would do this. Stupid fish. Um... Right, what was I saying? Right. It's sort of the ultimate in, if you aren't doing well, you're doing horrible type games. So, I'm not really upset about doing well. But at the same time, it would so it would be nice if I could do it with a little bit more challenge. But, meh. Whatever. I would take a, an unfair... 
I would take an unfair advantage over an unfair challenge almost any day. Almost, because, you know, there's a fringe cases. Sometimes you want to, sometimes you want to play Super Meat Boy. Which I'm saying Super Meat Boy, but actually Super Meat Boy Super Meat Boy, Super Meat Boy. Actually, Super Meat Boy is a very is a very fair challenge. Outrageously difficult, but fair. And now that that's done, do I get another cutscene? I do not. Do I even like need to return to Mystia? Not really. Okay, so until next time. Ahem. Will Virion find what? What he seeks in Mystia Power, will he achieve ultimate power? Or will he run into an unexpected friend? Air quotes. Tune in next time to find out! <laughs> and it's still fun. So until then, this has been Chaos Blue with Let's Play Final Fantasy 2! And have a nice day.